afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Whoopi speaking, and to wish you a good Easter. And for this nice feast, I decided to make a very special coil. Very, 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 very big coil. Okay, this uh, coil is wrapped with some wire here. I will explain to you after. Okay, and it was the aim to make a replication or to try to test what Jack no skills uh, freely offer to us in a very nice uh, PDF. Uh, I have read it and it is very interesting theory on uh, how to get energy uh, from a pulsing system from a special coil, as you can see here, which are open. It is open system. This other system here, other system. Okay. And as I had this uh, special coil here, I will describe the coil. This is the ESA coil. ESA coil is 23 turns, 0.4 millimeter copper wire, which is se uh, separated in seven strand enamel copper wire. Dimension 61 centimeter width, 78 centimeter eight. And as you can see here, you have the I have separated all the strands in two times seven independent wires. Uh, here is a zero wire. It is the uh, wire which is, which is used for making the the primary. So this wire goes receive 58 volt from a DC source, goes through the coil, get out here, and go up to a MOSFET which is uh, triggered by a, a timer 55 to 6.3 kilohertz and about duty cycle 16%. All this data is actually can be changed to make different uh, uh, experiments. Okay, now the important thing, all the rest of the wire, one, two, three, four, five, six, here is separated and the same on the other side. And what I did after, it is, I took from the positive here, which goes uh, here, on this part here, I go and the first, second and third wire are together through a CSR to measure the current on the scope on channel 2 and goes to the bulb. It is a 6 volt incandescent bulb from a, a torch, a hand torch, okay? And then it goes, uh, uh, after which here, it goes through the coil which is pulsed, and then it goes outside here to nothing, in open air. It is open circuits. Second system, no, the five, four, six, goes to the other side of the lamp, goes through the coil, and goes here outside to nothing. Okay, so it is not connecting here. I will make a small test with this connection to see what happens. If I connect this, it would be a normal transformer normal induction system, but it is not connected, it is open circuits. So this bulb is connecting electrically to nothing, only by this uh, induction of the first primary. Okay, let's go to the system now. Okay, as you can see, that we, we have here the, the historical energy raptor, it, it is a joke, of course. And uh, we go down there, and it is separated in six different parts. Okay, you see the red wire, which is a loop. This loop goes to this timer, 55, okay, which can be triggered in a, or can uh, regulate the frequency and the duty cycle, which is very interesting to make some, uh, to, to look for some resonance. Okay, this is the MOSFET here, it is the IRF840A. Okay, this is the battery to trigger and to, to power the timer. Okay, now let's see what I, uh, what I have done here. I have the bulb here with the CSR and the scope. And uh, this bulb is connecting here, you can see, on the black, white and blue wire. Goes through the coil, go out from the coil to here to nothing. Nothing at all. The air. Okay. The other side of the bulb here goes here at this clip to the green, violet, and and gray wire goes through the coil and get out here to nothing. 
uh, it is nothing because here it is simply a clip because after I will try to close the loop here to see okay we done this after okay and I put the scope short here because it is very interesting you will see after all right okay now I have a small MP amp meter here and I will put the main power it is a very big battery is 58 volt DC okay put the battery on timer is working and the lamp the bulb is lit very brightly okay on the uh, amp meter we have about 60 milliamps now what I will do it is to disconnect the lamp hop 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 what happened on the amp meter now the lamp is connected now it's disconnected you see there is some more uh, power drawn by the primary connect good yes disconnect go up not so much D depending on the frequency and duty cycle it can be more okay okay now what i will try to do is to close the the open air system so i put the clip here and the other clip on the open here okay like this okay what happened on the lamp when i now i close the induction it is normal transformer close you see the lamp is less lit Disc, uh, disconnected open circuit close circuit open circuit close circuits on the amp meter now uh, close circuit transformer open circuits raptor transformer raptor <laughs> very interesting now on the scope now the scope is closed okay i have to open okay it is raptor open circuits transformer raptor transformer hmm okay now let's go to the scope very interesting i will stop the scope now yes disconnect the load you see it is, the blue trace is a current the yellow trace is a voltage at the outside here okay what i will do i will put away the voltage look at this okay now as you can see here the pulse is going on here at the beginning then very quickly to down to nothing then very strong flyback current then hop higher than the original and then ringing to the next pulse now i will put the voltage and you can see also the voltage the voltage is here then flyback spike up another time higher than the original voltage then ringing down and a nice phase shift between current and and voltage <laughs> yes i think this is very interesting this uh, system uh, of open uh, circuits which can uh, yes why not uh, capture some energy as uh, jack noski says without too much uh, influencing the primary this is for discussion at the uh, ou why not and uh, i hope you enjoy this video and uh, good afternoon at all